today we're going to dive into the warp stabilizer inside of After Effects. I want to show you some cool tricks that you can use to get into some advanced settings to help you get some buttery smooth footage. So let's jump in. I've got my footage here on this timeline and make sure that it's set to full over here and then come to effects and presets, search for warp stabilizer, just like the one in Premiere Pro. And you're gonna drag that onto your video. What it's gonna do, it's gonna initialize the video, go through every frame and stabilize every frame. And most of the time this does work, but if I play through this video, you can see that in the background, we got some issues. Basically the stabilizer is seeing the cat in the foreground and the blurry background as one image and it's trying to stabilize it all together. It's just getting a bit confused. You left lots of warping. First thing that I would do is come down to these effects over here and I would drop the smoothness down to maybe 20%. Always find that 50%, which is the default, is way too much. So if you come down to the bottom here and you click on the advanced drop down, click on detailed analysis. What that's gonna do, it's gonna go through the, the whole video again and give you a lot more tracking points, which you're gonna need later on. And if we come down to this box over here, you're gonna click on show track points. Now, as you can see, there's track points all over this footage. If you can't see yours, you can always push up this track point size slider over here, click and hold and drag it as much as you want. So I'm gonna push it up to around 300%. And what you're gonna do is you, you're just gonna scrub through to a point where there's quite a bit of track points on your subject. So this is a good point. What I'm gonna do now is click, hold and drag my mouse around to lasso some of these points. Lasso, lasso, we say lasso. Click, hold, drag all the points inside where the cat is. And once you've got them selected, hit delete. And basically you're left with all of the track points outside of your subject. And I'm just gonna go a little bit back in time and delete as I go along. And after a while, it's gonna figure out what you're trying to do. So I click, drag, delete, it's gonna restabilize. And if I keep going through, you'll see you'll start to have less and less tracking points as you take them out. And what I'll do is I'll go through from start to finish, making sure that pretty much all of the tracking points inside that are on my subject have been taken out. So I'll just fast forward this part and I'll see you on the other side. And if you ever click away and you can't see the track points when you click back, all you have to do is come back to this window in the fixed controls and just unselect show track points and select it again and then you'll be able to see them. All we have to do now when you're finished is unselect track points and if we play through our footage now, it should hopefully look pretty good. And there we have it, nice, smooth, stable footage, no warping in the background. Um, if you do still experience some warping, you can always turn your smoothness down, adjust your smoothness and play with some of those settings and it'll only adjust those points that you're asking it to track. And that's it. If this was of value to you, please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, check out some of my other videos. It really helps in growing the channel and supporting me. I appreciate it, guys. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.